Hi Sword and Buckler enthusiasts, the long-awaited online course is finally available and until the 8th of October 2023 you can get a massive discount of 40%. Find the link to the sales page in the caption, go there, take a look at the course and the curriculum and see what awaits you now. Welcome to this online course, which will unlock for you the fighting system of Europe's oldest combat treaties. At least the way we understand it. But it will provide you with everything you need on your way to becoming a proficient sword and buckler fighter yourself. We have structured the course in a way that makes sense to us. But you are, of course, encouraged to skip back and forth repeat certain sections depending on your interest or progress. The centerpiece in the first block of videos, however, is probably the most important. It is our take on the play of Half Shield against First Ward. This is not only the first play that we find in the book, in the manuscript, but it's also a central play where you have a lot of important elements embodied in it and to which the glosses in the manuscript frequently refer. We do not only show you our interpretation that we have nowadays, but we also take you on a journey, as it were, to see what kind of principles, what kind of criteria we take into consideration when designing certain fencing movements based on the text and on the images. And thereby, we want to enable you to have a critical eye on the text, on the images, maybe even on other fight books as well, so you can derive a functional martial system from the source. In the second block of videos, we're going to look at original swords from the period, their design, striking mechanics, and fine motor skills that are relevant in sword play. There are some additional resources, namely tracings of original swords, which you can download, and you are welcome to base your training swords on these drawings. The third block of videos is all about the Twerhau, which is a very powerful, and especially in sword and shield fighting, a very useful blow or cut. You will find examples of how to train this cut at the Pell. We will provide you with all the details you need to get the right movement and also proper power generation. In the section on footwork and posture, you're going to learn a proper fighting stance, how to safely enter into measure. We're going to show you how to adopt half shield and first ward, and you will find a useful solo exercise for developing a good sense of measure. Training with a partner is great, but if you have no partner at hand, solo drills are the way to go. And this is what section 5 is all about. We will take all the pieces, all the movement patterns from first ward against half shield and turn them into solo exercises you can practice at home if there's no partner around. We will take all the individual elements, we will point out crucial things to look out for and we will provide the context from the actual fighting uh, situation so you can train all these different elements and you know exactly where their place would be in an actual fight. Of course we will also tell you what to look out for when you want to acquire training equipment such as practice swords, shields or protective gear. The section on overbinds introduces you to one of the crucial elements, one of the most important ways to control an opponent's blade. And we will not only discuss right-handed against right-handed fences, but also right-handed against left-handed fences. And as a bonus, we will give you some hints, some tips how to design exercises if you have like mixed-handedness in your class.
In the videos on the long point lesson, you will be introduced to a set of exercises that we developed and it focuses on hand-foot coordination and how to use timing to your advantage in a fight. In this section, we will show you how you can tweak your exercises, how you can design your partner lesson to get the best results in your training. And in the final section, we show you a couple of examples for exercises and workout that we feel is relevant to build up the strength required in swordplay and to improve your performance. And now, on with the course. Train safely, pay attention. If anything hurts or feels uncomfortable, stop it immediately. If you have any health issues, go see an expert. You should always come out of training healthier than you started it.